Broadband connectivity has attained a new level of importance during the past few years as more and more people work remotely and both consumer and enterprise applications and services become ever more bandwidth hungry. As a result, network operators are now putting just as much focus on and capex towards their fixed broadband plans as they are on 5G. So now is a good time to be in the fiber to the premises technology sector as many plans revolve around the deployment of passive optical networking or PON technology that can underpin service delivery for decades to come. That's why it's interesting that Comscope has just announced its entry into the active fibre broadband equipment market with the launch of a next generation PON solution. And I'm talking today with Eric Gromvall, VP of PON at Comscope, about the move. So Eric, great to see you. Thanks very much for joining us today. Uh, so what prompted Comscope to launch into the PON market? Yeah, thanks. Uh, we've been in the PON space on the passive connectivity side from a long legacy from a Comscope perspective, going back to a lot of the legacy companies that have come together to create Comscope. Um, I, I, again, also, as we brought in Eris into the family uh, a few years back, uh, the legacy that they had within, you know, coming from Motorola and some of those companies have had a long history of being involved in the PON space, but have uh, have moved away from it in the past uh, uh, five or so years. We saw the real opportunity here uh, with the advent and the adoption of XGS PON um, and the move towards more open and interoperable standards through the broadband forum uh, as a real opportunity for us to take a step back into PON. So what we did is we gathered back together some of those experts that we had uh, from the from the previous times and really put together a team to, to re-enter the PON market um, and really bring some new and innovative technology into that space. Okay, excellent. Uh, now, this isn't a new market. There are already many well-established PON technology suppliers in the sector. Uh, what is Comscope offering that is unique that will offer differentiation? Sure, thanks. Um, we are really focused on this open and interoperable standard. And so we view that as one of the things that we can do to really help our customers uh, have the most flexible platform going forward. Uh, so we're really embracing that, uh, that open and interoperable standard um, coming out of the broadband forum. In addition, we have a long history, uh, like I mentioned with the passive connectivity space, of working with a services uh, type of arm. And so really being able to work with customers on bringing a total end-to-end -end solution uh, that really helps them cost optimize their overall network. Uh, this is, this is you know, bringing cost reductions to the deployment of the outside plant in addition to the deployment of the active equipment on either end of the network. Um, and really uh, finding ways to have that be the most effective solution for our customers. So uh, Comscope is making a number of promises about its new cloud to edge next gen PON solution suite, uh, namely that it provides operators with a faster time to revenue and optimize CapEx. It reduces OPEX and reduces risk and complexity and also delivers innovation faster. So that, that's quite a set of promises there. How exactly is Comscope going to deliver all of these attributes? Yeah, it, it, it's quite a list of promises that we're putting out to the market there. Um, as we look at each one of those, right, uh, there's different things that we're, we're doing to bring the overall solution. If you look at first at, at our ability to, uh, to bring the faster time to revenue, there's some things that we're doing in how we can deploy our physical hardware uh, out in the outside plant that helps operators leverage existing assets in the field that, that, uh, that will help them uh, reduce both the cost and the time it takes them to deploy that uh, those uh, those networks going forward. But we're also looking at that both open and interoperable standards, which we believe will will drive lower costs for uh, the overall solution for PON going forward, along with um, allowing for uh, you know multiple different uh, innovation streams, which helps to bring new uh, new products to market faster. So being a cloud based uh, system allows us to innovate faster and integrate other innovations into our product portfolio faster uh, through that, that uh, containerized architecture, that SDN containerized architecture. 
Well, there's no doubt that cloud-based and open systems are becoming more and more popular with network operators. Uh, so this sounds like a, a really good time to be entering the market with this solution. Eric, great to talk to you today and look forward to catching up with you in the future. Thanks very much. Thank you.